Day four in the final stage of the 240 kilometer ultra canoe marathon. The conditions were perfect for the 60 kilometer stage from Zotluf to the finish line at Faltruf. After the treacherous, cold, icy conditions of the 75 kilometer stage the previous day, McGregor started the day two and a half minutes ahead of the defending champion and multi doozy canoe marathon winner Andy Burkett with Kiko Vega of Spain a couple of seconds behind him. But McGregor, the K1 and K2 world champion, was just too classy and strong for the rest of the field. He beat Burkett, who finished second in a sprint to the finish with Vega in third. I think to win one is, a, is an awesome achievement on its own. To win ten has one for the record books. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Had a great race against top class field, some of the best internationals in the world. and. To come out on top and, and to win my 10th, super stoked. Huh? With defending champion Abby Soames pulling out of the race because of illness, Bevett dominated the women's section, winning by close to an hour. I think the dream started last year and I managed to fulfill it this year. I put on my goal list and it is an experience and something to, to just be so grateful for, to get through these four days and see that finish line. It's been amazing. Hank McGregor once again showed that he's a world-class performer by winning an unprecedented 10th title. But there were no losers at the Berg. Anyone who finished the grueling 240-kilometer race was a winner. Craig Murray, SABC News, Faltruff in the Western Cape.